Hello. This video is how to install a PyCharm Educational Edition in a grade development environment into Ubuntu 14.04. So what is PyCharm? PyCharm is an IDE or Integrated Development Environment that comes in three flavors. Open Source Educational Edition, Open Source Community Edition, and For Purchase Professional Edition. If you're an educator and want to get started with PyCharm, listed below is a quick start getting started for educators web page. The outcomes for this video would be to download the PyCharm Educational Edition, install and configure the PyCharm Educational Edition, and then run the Educational Edition task Hello World. Also create a Python Hello World project just to show you that everything's working. Requirements in my case it's a Linux desktop. This video uses Ubuntu 14.04. Oracle Java JRE Runtime Environment 1.6 Plus or Open Java 1.7 Plus. This video is making a demonstration with Open Java 1.7. 1 gigabyte of memory is required. 2 gigabyte is recommended. 1024 by 768 minimum screen resolution and internet connection and Python version 2.7 or 3.4. In my case, I've got both installed, but the video is showing the 2.7 version. Additional info, here's some web pages that you may want to look at for some additional information. I've got a disclaimer. While I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out. So I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I am at the uh, PyCharm Educational Edition download page to download a version of PyCharm for Linux. In my case, it would be an Ubuntu machine. If you look up here, it's PyCharm Educational Download. You've got choice here for Mac OS X and Windows also, if that's your uh, flavor. Down here, make a note of the system requirements. 1 gigabyte RAM, minimum 2 gigabyte RAM recommended. 1024 by 768 minimum screen resolution and Oracle JRE 1.6 plus or Open JDK 1.7 plus. Now I did query or ask a question of JetBrains and they recommended Oracle JRE which is a Java runtime environment as opposed to Open JDK but that was just what one of their representatives told me. So I'm going to download it now. I clicked on the download button. Now it asks for your email address, first name, last name, whether you're a student or an educator or university organization. If you don't fill this out, that's still okay. I filled this out previously and so I'm not going to fill this out. It will still let you download it if you haven't filled it out. Click here on save file. Click OK takes uh, about a minute, a minute and a half to download. Once it's downloaded, if you want to verify that you've downloaded it, simply go to your file folder. In my case, I can choose Downloads. Right click and choose Downloads. And there it is. Here I am in my Ubuntu Virtual Machine and I'm going to just search on the dash for Terminal and in order to do that, just type Terminal there and then click on the terminal and now what I'm going to do at the terminal is create a directory to install PyCharm in. In my case I'm in my home directory. If I do a print working directory you'll see it's home slash Mike and so I'm going to create a directory make directory and then I'm going to create a parent directory and then a subdirectory and V is for verbose and the parent directory is tools and the subdirectory will be IDE, Integrated Development Environment, where I'm going to put PyCharm. It says it's created it, and if I do an LS, you'll see that a tools directory is created. And if I do a CD tools, you'll see that the IDE directory is also created. So now I'm going to go back to my downloads directory where I have PyCharm downloaded. So I'll do a cd dot dot get me back to my home directory, do an ls 
CD, LS stands for list, downloads, to an LS, and there's my PyCharm file that I've downloaded. To install it, or actually extract it, I go tar xzvf, verbose for uh, again, so I can see what's happening. PyCharm, if you only have one file in there with a P, you can just type in P and then hit tab, then a space, dash, capital C, because I'm going to change the directory where it's going to be extracted, because right now it would be extracted to the uh, downloads directory. So then I hit two dots, slash, that will get me back to my home directory, then tools, and then slash IDE. If I've keyed in everything correctly, it will install it in my tools IDE directory under home mic. And there it goes. So now I will go to cd dot dot back to my home directory and cd tools slash IDE do an ls, see what's there. And there's my PyCharm folder. I'm going to cd PyCharm folder do an ls again, list, go to the, the bin directory or the binary directory, do an ls, and now in order to install it, there's a file I need to start, and that's called pycharm.sh. Now to start this, because I'm in the directory, I hit dot slash pycharm.sh, and it will start pycharm. If you haven't installed it before, it says you want to import my settings from a custom location or specify a config folder. Or Since this is the first install, I'll just take the default, click OK. PyCharm starts up. Go to Configure. And I'm going to go to Plugins. Now, one of the things, because I'm an educator, I'm going to click on Course Creator for PyCharm Educational. That allows you to create your own courses for st students to go through. To take some of the load off, I don't need HE4ID or Subversion Integration. If you're not using GitHub, you can just unclick it. This is whatever choices you want to use, but keep in mind that the less choices you have, the faster everything should work. I'm going to click in OK and ask you want to restart to activate the change in plugins. I'm going to say yes, restart. And here it starts again. And I'm going to go back to configure. I'm going to create a desktop entry. Here, if you want to create a, an entry for all users, make sure you don't install it in your own home directory. In my case, I've installed it in my own home directory, so I don't want to click this. I'm going to click OK. Now once this is started up, I go back to my icon right here, and I'm going to lock it to the launcher. Look back up here, it says Desktop Entry Created. You may now exit PyCharm and start it from the System menu. I'm going to close this, exit this. So now PyCharm is installed. Here I've shut down and restarted Ubuntu to verify that my PyCharm Educational Edition button is still available. So I'll right click or double click. In my case I right clicked. Just simply go ahead and start it up. Up comes the uh, PyCharm Educational Edition. Here I have a course, Introduction to Python. Notice it's got a little E there for education, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm just basically going to go through the first task on here just to verify that everything's working here. The first task would be to change a Hello World program. And it says Task Text 
Traditionally, first program you write in any programming language is Hello World. Introduce yourself to the world. And so print Hello World. My name is. And I want you to type in your name. So just simply put the cursor there. And I'm going to just type in my name, Mike. So the first time you run it, it's going to go slow. And I'm just going to go to Hello World, right click on it and run hello world and it says hello world my name is Mike now one thing that may happen because I believe there's some kind of lazy loading is that you might get something down here saying you've got some indices or indexes that need to be loaded and that just just let them load and then then it'll run so this is working so the next thing I'm going to do is write a project Let's create a new project new project and I'm going to go to pure Python in my case I've got a choice of Python 2.7 or Python 3.4 because both of these are loaded on this Ubuntu virtual machine and I'm going to change the name to Hello World. Create this Python project. You may choose wherever you want yours to be created. You can change that. Click Create. And I'm going to open this in a new window. Click OK. Open up Hello World. Actually go to Hello World. Right click. New. Python file and I'm just going to call this file hello world you may name it whatever you want it's going to add the Python extension to it because you selected Python file puts down your author I imagine there's some change you can make to also put down the date but I haven't followed through on where that is yet just print I'm going to use the parentheses, which you don't have to do in 2.7, 3.4 style. And I'm going to say, hello, PyCharm world. Right click here and run. And you notice down here it says, hello, PyCharm world. So that's uh, pretty much it for installing PyCharm Educational Edition running through a task. Oh, let me go one more step back to the task. Once you're through with the task, you notice right here it says 0 of 10 lessons complete, 0 of 50 tasks complete. You can check yourself off here. And now it says 1 of 50 tasks completed. So that's pretty much it for installing uh, PyCharm Educational Edition. Thank you.